Hello friends, Electromagnetics in the Pudir lecture is over. Reflection of plane wave at oblique incidence on e lecture in the Kanye lecture in the normal incidence on Kandir another. So normal incidence in the Varna in it Nangil, Namada incident play in a normal eye to incident cheeky on angle. Enginiana, other than the expressions in the Lana, Namla Kanda. In the Namla chain of the E same condition normal vagaram. Oblique incidence at another that is making some angle. Okay, so I'm gonna incident is a angle and the irkim expressions in the lana number of the carnum bond. So you don't know it in the analysis chain and you end it chella considerations of canum chain under number of the adim lossless medium iron pinna number than a lossy medium at extend in under other world than a uniform plane in the general form number of the consideration under. So, we assume that it's a time dependent field. That is, E is equal to real part of E naught E raised to J k dot R minus omega T. We have the EM wave in the electric field component expression. We have to consider that. That is, the magnetic field component is the same. Represent. So, this is the real part of the same. the cause of that term. Even in the Kalakanam, K dot R no Arntana Verna. Idil R no Araina is represented like this, which is a position vector. Okay. Adivartana, K no Araina, it is represented like this. Idil K de X, Y, Z component ana, either no Araina. So wave propagate in the direction yana number, K which represent in the Okay. So Adivartana, the magnitude of K is related to. Omega in the consideration, Namloda Kondu Renan. Other K square in the bar in the value in the expression or other will be related to Omega square mu epsilon. The other than Mumbala lectures in the Namla Parnit and Darno, Namla EM wave in the Varain, other components are perpendicular to each other. That is, E is perpendicular to H, and these two are perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagate. K direction and number wave propagating. So, this condition which we have to expression that is k cross e no omega mu h. That is k cross h no minus omega epsilon e. And similarly, k dot e is equal to 0 and k dot h is equal to 0. And that is k dot r no e expression no is a constant. So, these conditions are initially added. So, this condition we will explain oblique incidence. So, that is explained in the video. Medium 1 and medium 2 That is the border. This one. Okay. And that is the incident wave. So, we will explain the incident wave perpendicular. Now, we will explain the oblique incident. So, that is the incident wave. So, that is the ki and express. So, we will explain the wave in the middle of the wave. Part of the wave is transmitted. That is the kt and represent. And part of the wave is reflected. That is the kr and represent. In this plane, it is normal. This normal is in z direction. That normal is the wave components making the angles. The incident wave is making the angle theta i. The transmitted wave is making the angle theta t. The reflected wave is making the angle theta r. Where theta i is the incident wave angle. And theta t is the transmitted angle, and theta r is the reflected angle. So, this wave is the incident chain. So, this is the wave in the expression. That is, incident wave in the expression ei naught cos. We have to k dot r is the expansion minus omega i t. This is the incident wave in the components. Similarly, for reflected wave, we have to do R and expressing like this. And transmitted wave, I am expressing like this. So, this wave is the boundary conditions. So, boundary conditions are in this line. We have to boundary condition where z is equal to 0 in the condition. 
So, this boundary condition is our electric field. Tangential component of electric field is continuous. Boundary condition is used to say that we use it. We use it. EI plus ER is equal to ET. These conditions are used in the lecture. So, this boundary condition is satisfied. There are some conditions. The conditions are used to say that. That is, the first condition is used to say that. Frequency component omega नो आ रहे हैं ना तो also will be continuous. That is frequency is unchanged. And next condition नो आ रहे हैं ना तो the k value of incident reflected transmitted value and similarly the y component of incident reflected transmitted value. That is it is known as phase matching condition. So ये condition से ना आना हम लोग दिखे ना तो ना हमारे boundary conditions apply चाहिए ना तो. So, if the signal is oblique at the incident chain, we use the vector operation to use the signal components. So, we use the condition to use the incident signal. So, incident signal is the incident signal. That is nothing but Ki. Beta 1 is expressed. So, if we use the incident signal using vector operation, we can divide this like this. So, this angle is the same as this angle. We consider the angle of theta i at the same time. We will express the adjacent side of the angle. That is, beta 1 cos theta i at the same time. That is, hypotenuse into cos this angle. And opposite side of the angle, we express the angle. Beta 1 sin theta i at the same time. Okay. So, this vector operation, I will apply the reflected wave and the transmitted wave. I will be getting the expression. Like this. E components are now I will equate boundary condition with it. Equity am going to. So, E boundary conditions are now I will going to do it. I am going to express here. That incident wave is equal to that reflected wave. I am similarly. That incident wave is equal to transmitted wave. This is only possible at boundary conditions. Okay. But, for a lossless medium, for a lossless medium, I am going to do it. Beta is equal to omega into root of mu epsilon. We have done it in the previous lecture. Okay. Now, we have to use the first thing that we have to use the lossless medium. So, we can take the value of beta like this. That's why we have to express here. Ki and Kr are here. Beta 1 is express here. That's why we have to express the medium 2 of beta expression. इंगेनेम एक्सप्रेस किया, सो इवड़ा म्यू इंडेम अप्सिलोन इंडेम वैल्यू मीडियम मार्म मारण दो कोण ना ना, नम्बर इंगेने सेपरेट आटे एक्सप्रेस किया ना, सो इधो ऐसे इट नम्बर इंदी या, वी कैन टेक द रेशियो लाइक दिस, सो रेशियो डू कम नम्बर इंदी कटम साइन थीटा टी डिवाइडेड बाय साइन थीटा so, in this expression, root of mu1 epsilon1 name, root of mu2 epsilon2 name, n1 and n2 is equated. We can rewrite the equation like this. That is why we cross multiply the equation. n1 sin theta i is equal to n2 sin theta t. This is a very important expression which is known as Snell's law. Okay. This is what we call n1 and c into root of mu1 epsilon1 c in the way that light speed in the expression on and n2 is equal to c into root of mu2 epsilon2 these are known as refractive indices okay what are important at your expression on us examine snell's law derive and okay so the car under regular right so in any other number of oblique incidents in the case look at the expression e oblique incident in the case there are two cases on the nor in the parallel polarization second in or another perpendicular polarization on number incident chain the signal in the polarization and series to number the expressions live matamera so our expressions and down another number coming lectures in a car Okay, so it's really an electoral level that in the little doubt and I get our comment here. Thanks for watching the video at the video to come on the way. Goodbye.